I know a surprising answer to the question, how can I add more content, more value in my videos, in my blogs, in my speeches, in my webinars, add more value to my clients, but without burning through all of the material that I have? I know that surprising answer, I'm going to share it with you now. My name is Peter Thompson. Hi. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to share with you some tried and tested and proven ideas for how you can do exactly that. Because I've been helping over the last 27 years, coaches, consultants, speakers, trainers, small business owners, people like me and you, people in the helping industry, trying to help our clients either solve problems or capitalize on opportunities. And I've been helping those coaches and consultants to build their businesses and create for themselves a business and a life of choice. Now, here's the mistake I've made many, many times until I realized I was making this mistake and I found so many of the people I've helped were making this mistake before I helped them. And here it is. I've written it down so I can say it really clearly for you because I want to get it exactly the way that I wrote it. Here we go. The ideas, methods, systems, thoughts, techniques, ways and means you believe, and I used to believe, are totally obvious and known to everyone are in fact completely obscure, unnoticed, misunderstood, misperceived and mysterious to the vast majority of people. And isn't that great news? This means we can easily, and I do mean easily, double the output of the content that we have. We can help more people get the results that they crave and be regularly rewarded for the positive difference that we make in the world. And I'm going to give you now a perfect example of that. It's the one that I often use when I'm explaining this, when I run my various seminars and webinars, and here it is. Some years ago, I met Paulette Ensign. She's known as the Booklet Queen, and she showed me how you write tips booklets. Very powerful process, which I use now within most of my writing, an idea that I picked up from her. And in one of Paulette's tips booklets, which was about being personally effective, it mentioned about using a to-do list. Now, I said to her when I saw this, I said, Paulette, surely you can't mention about a to-do list because everybody knows about to-do lists, don't they? And she said, Peter, you'd think they would. And so I took that idea and I ran with it and I've tested it when I used to stand and speak at conferences around the world, which I don't do anymore, but I tested it with so many people and I've asked this and I've said, tell me, do you know the idea about the do list or to do list? And most people will put their hand up and go, yes, I do. And I say, great, okay, let's go a little deeper. Do you know that the power of a do list is to make sure that before we start on any of the list items, we actually prioritize those items first? Do you know that? And a number of the hands will go down now. So there's less people saying that they know about it. Now, if I add the real power of do lists, which is to reprioritize the list after we've done each item on it. So we do item number one. Before we do what is currently prioritized as item number two, we reprioritize the list to make sure that the number two item has now become number one. And if it hasn't, we move something else to be number one. And then we continue throughout the day reprioritizing the list after we finish each item before we start the next item. And I ask people if they know about that, reprioritize all of the time and use that idea. Now, you'll find now, and I was only doing this just a few weeks ago on a seminar I was running, it drops to about 5% of the people in the audience actually use a do list in the way it was originally designed by Ivy Lee. So there, it proves it straight away that what we can do is we can take what we believe is obvious and everybody knows it when in fact they don't and we can add these ideas into our content more than doubling the stuff that we've been sharing so far and in that way we're not bulking out our content what we're doing is we're showing people the exact steps to take in order to get the outcome they want see here's the way i think about it is the way that we are helping people the, to the most, to the maximum, is to make sure that we're showing them the step-by-step -step actions they need to take in order to get the outcome they came for to us in the first place. And in fact, that's also where the most profit is, is when we don't tell people just what, but we tell them precisely how. So if you've got any comments in that, then please put these down here and I can join in the conversation with you. But I would urge you to take a fresh look at the stuff that you've perhaps previously considered as pretty darn obvious and start sharing some of that 
with a few clients to start with to see whether or not they actually do know how to use your ideas to the maximum to get the fullest results that they possibly can from that. Let's have a conversation. I'm looking forward to the next one. I'll see you there. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click to watch the next video. Remember to visit our website at peterthompson.com and download your free copy of my latest book, How to Write Your Business Book in Five Days or Less. Until next time, every success.